Well, uh, what we're uh, going to talk about next is uh, a, a little bit about the guy that designed this thing. Uh, we're going to have Linda. Linda is a, a actually a, obviously a personal friend of his, and owning the first keyboard. But um, his credibility level is very high. He has articles written in the Clavier Companion. He has articles in magazines like the Piano Technician's Journal talking about this. One of the problems with why it hasn't taken off like it should is that he has never uh, had a piano company work with him that wants this to uh, succeed as much as he does and as much as people like it. We are now partnering up, partnering, easy for me to say, partnering up <laughs> with, uh, with, the, uh, with David to produce a piano that he has as a standard that will, will make everybody happy while they're playing it. Not just because it feels good, but because it sounds good and with great tone and great touch. So um, uh, I'm going to uh, right now turn you back to Lynn and have her tell you a little bit about how the company got rolling and a little bit about David. Okay. Uh, I met David in uh, a little B&B in Niagara on the lake. Uh, he was staying at a friend of mine's house. And uh, we had been talking, uh, Chris Donison and I had been talking at university um, in the 80s about how wonderful it would be if there was a piano that was made for our size. David happened to be staying, and he's an inventor. He had a factory, not in pianos. <clears throat> uh, he had a factory in Titusville, Pennsylvania. And uh, it was a short drive from Niagara on the lake. And so we visited him, and he started tinkering with these keys, and he made um, a prototype. And so I came down and I tried his prototype. And it was a moment where I actually, um, I broke down and cried because it was so amazing. So they left me alone for an hour and I played this piano and I played things I'd never been able to play uh, at university when I was studying to be a concert pianist. And when he came back an hour later, I said, David, if you ever make this commercially, you have your first order. I don't care what it costs, I need this. And he made my piano in 1996. I put it into my grand piano at home. And it has been a joy that I can't describe ever since. Is there an adjustment period? Yes. It takes about an hour to get the confidence behind it. But after that hour, there, it, it was magical. It made my technique more accurate. It made me a better player because my hand, this relaxation, we cannot overemphasize. When your hand is relaxed, you have more power. You can voice better. You have more control. You play like like you've never played before. And you can still, everything that you learned on the six and a half inch, the regular size keys, you can go and play. It doesn't change any of that other than it maybe makes you a little more accurate, but it doesn't, as I was scared at the beginning. I thought, oh my God, I'll never be able to play a regular piano again. You still can, but you don't want to because it is so much better when you play this five and a half inch. David was amazing. He did, he did, I was the first, and here I am uh, over 20 years later, and my piano, there's no problems. There's no torquing, there's no, he did a superb job, and he is an amazing craftsman.